Chris Mazder won Silver in Luge in 2018 and is preparing to compete in his fourth Olympic Games. It's one of those amazing experiences. But that might not even be the most interesting thing about him. I got rhythm, I got music. He was on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, this little guy? And stores his medal in a seemingly odd place. Now it just lives in a drawer at my house. It does not live in a it drawer. It does. Totally, totally lives it's in a drawer. It's not hung up or anything? Nope, nope. It lives in a drawer. And sometimes I'm like, which drawer? He credits his sport with teaching him some of life's best lessons. What do you think she's taught you most? Managing fear is definitely one of them. Not everything is going to go right, so having a lot of flexibility. I'm pretty good also with travel logistics. Most of all, it taught him how to manage his ADHD. It's the only place that like, I can focus 100%, and I really feel like I'm in the moment. I love that feeling. Like, I have ADHD, and it's the only place where I'm like fully focused on a singular task. And so I think of it as my medicine, basically. Chris was born in Pittsfield. He learned to love sledding there, and it was his impatience during a trip to Lake Placid with friends he found luge. At eight years old, we would go to Mount Van Hovenberg, and we'd try bobsled, because that's the cool sport. But the problem is the line's really long, the turnover's slow, you're only driving half the time. So at the end of the night, you only drive one or two times. But there was this other sport kind of hidden called luge that didn't have a line. And if I ran from the bottom to where we started, I could get 10 runs. So it was like two runs or 10 runs. And being the ADHD kid that I was, I hated lines. So yeah. I hate lines, that's how I got into luge. In late September 2021, at the start of the season, Chris broke his foot while training. Didn't miss a beat. And again, he was prepared to pivot, to be ready in five weeks when he really needed eight to heal. Does this sport require you to be risky? Uh, I, this sport requires you to understand the risks that are involved. I would say I'm more calculated than just like a risk taker. I wouldn't say I'm reckless. Spend any amount of time with the 33-year-old and his seemingly boundless energy feels contagious, which may make Luja's greatest life lesson for Chris that it remains childlike fun. Put me on a sledding hill, like with some kids, and I'll show those kids how you go sledding.